Good morning, sir. Kurtika? Yes, sir. So, Krutika is from Indore? Yes, sir. Okay. And your subjects were forestry and maths? Yes, sir. This is your third attempt? Yes, sir. What, what, what happened in the previous two attempts? Sir, I could not clear prelims in your you previous two. Uh, how, for how many months you studied forestry? So, for 15 days. Only 15 days? Just after my mains, uh, CSE mains. Achha, and 15 days you could qualify for this mm -hmm. exam, right? Yes, sir. So, what, what all you studied in forestry? Sir, uh, about the silvicultural systems and then forest menstruation and uh, the techniques uh, to improve the forest cover and how to maximize the uh, production. Mm. What are the techniques to improve the forest cover? Sir, uh, different silvicultural methods are uh, being used. For example, uh, the simple... Uh, mm, mm, but, uh, depending upon the uh, species and the climatic uh, region of the uh, area and the soil, uh, different species are uh, planted and... Uh, uh, suppose you are a forest officer posted in a division which is having habitations all around near the forest and forests are very degraded, totally degraded. How we are going to rehabilitate those forests? So uh, firstly, uh, under the for Indian Forest Act... And those Act, are natural forests? Mm -hmm. Yes sir. So, uh, under the Indian Forest Act of 1927, I'll have the power to uh, rehabilitate the villages uh, located in that region. So, they'll be uh, the area will be defined uh, for which the uh, reserve forest you, is. You will relocate those uh, villages from that area? So, I'll have to um, make them uh, con on based of the cons consensus building. They'll be. Uh, Relocated where? Sir, uh, you are saying of forest region. Huh? I am not telling they are uh, encroachers. They are telling near to the forest there are a lot of habitations. That yes, forest sir. land is degraded. How are you going to rehabilitate that land? So for uh, that uh, we will be using the joint forest management technique. So that uh, village, the locals living in that area can help in uh, managing... What, what operations you will do in that forest, forest area? So firstly, the uh, regeneration techniques uh, depending on the uh, soil of that region. And then... Uh, what, what region? What, what are the techniques? What are those techniques? So, so, your, your father is... Uh, Head Constable in Excise Department. Yes, sir. Okay. That post is also called Head, head Constable? Yes, sir. In police also Head Constable is there? Yes, sir. And in Forest Service? What is that post equivalent post? Forest Guards. Forester? Mm -hmm. Forester. Uh, uh. Forest Guard will be say Constable, that will be Forester. You just compare mm -hmm. these three services. Which is better placed in terms of pay scales? Infrastructure, working conditions. Okay. Mm. So, uh, in terms of working condition, forest uh, a forester has a more challenging task to do, as uh, he uh, need to take care of the forest region and to tackle the encroachments and poaching, if any. So, as far as working conditions are concerned, which is better placed? They are better. Excise is better, or police is better. Sir, so, uh, I believe excise department is uh, better placed. How? Uh, because in forest, uh, there are various challenges for okay, a forester. Okay. How uh, excise is better placed? Uh, so, comparatively, otherwise, bo bo all the three have uh, their own challenges. So, and that's what I'm asking. How comparatively uh, they are better placed? 
Mm. What is the job uh, of uh, excise and customs? Sir, so, uh, to um, control the uh, illegal uh, liquor if it is getting sale uh, sale in nearby region, then to uh, control that thing. Only that much. And also to it is basically for the revenue generation of the state government. So that is uh, the role of the excise department. Okay, if illegal liquor is being brewed in the forest area, what will be role of your father and what will be your role as a D4? Sir, uh, if illegal liquor is there, then it will be under the uh, excise department of that region. Hmm. And uh, of the forest department will uh, need to collaborate with the excise department and the police department to uh, make the case against them. Okay. We have a lot of international laws, treaties, conventions yes, uh, and power to implement those lie with the central government. Whether that uh, particular treaty once India has signed become party can be implemented in India as such or you need something? So we need to uh, legislate it to through parliament and then we can implement implement it. Legis legislate what? Uh, to ratify that treaty. Ratify it is ratified. Treaty then is parliament uh, then uh, go, uh, passes a legislation for its implementation in our country. Okay. Suppose legislation is not passed and treaty India is a party for many years. What will happen? Will uh, not be a signed treaty. Like so it is signed. Treaty is signed. Uh, ratified. Just, uh, ratified. It is ratified. So if uh, legislation will be passed, then only uh, the implementation, its implementation takes place. So India has signed it. India is party, but in legislation is not there, so it will not be implemented. State governments can implement it. How state government when central government does not pass the law how it can do state government can implement we have uh, already ratified it and signed it so, uh, so so if they can implement there is no need to pass law but if uh, the legislation is passed it becomes mandatory for uh, the state governments to uh, implement those uh, provisions which are mentioned in the treaty okay. uh, there are powers to governor in the constitution and president have got some powers uh, whether there is any provision that governor can refer some matters to president for advice? Uh, yes, sir. There are certain matters uh, in which uh, which involves federal uh, principles. Then that matters are to be referred to president by the governor. Also, uh, yes, sir. By the governor. Under what provision of the constitution it is there? Um, so I am uh, unable to recall the article number. No, All right, uh, Ms. Jaiswal, yes. you are from IIT Delhi. Yes. What is the address of IIT Delhi? Sir, uh, it is Hodgkas, IIT Delhi, Hodgkas. Okay. Delhi. What is Hodgkas? Uh, it is an uh, area, it is mainly uh, famous for uh, the monuments of the medieval. No, what is Hodgkas? There is a lake uh, in the region be, uh, on the, uh, because of which it has been named such. Hmm. The Khas water body. Who, what? who constructed it? Uh, sir, I don't know that. Hmm. Alauddin Khilji. Can you name, uh, uh, can you tell us about uh, uh, traditional way of water conservation? Uh, so earlier uh, step wells were uh, used for water conservation. Then um, what is the Hindi term for that? Bauli. Yeah, Bauli. Yes, yeah. So, like Agrasen ki Bauli is there in uh, Delhi. In Gujarat, many of these Baulis are uh, uh, heritage sites. Yes, sir. What is the importance of that? Why should we classify? Why it has been classified as heritage? Is after all just a water conservation? So, uh, as it is being a traditional uh, conservation method, which is very helpful and is specific to that region. So it has been classified as uh, world. Have you been to these Bavaris? Uh, no, sir. Steffels. 
is it just to conserve water or there is it's a place where cultural events or meeting happen during they bring meetings to happen in the nearby region and it is basically used for the water from there is used for uh, drinking and irrigation purposes mm. it also has ar architectural significance yes sir. Mm. now you also play chess yes sir how has artificial intelligence recently revolutionized the whole chess game uh, sir in 1997 the uh, deep blue company uh, they made a, a software which defeated the then world champion uh, Ka gary kasparov so from that uh, uh, that was the point from which the artificial have, intelligence are you aware of that game mm, yes sir so what really happened sir uh, firstly uh, okay let's talk about the move that is the second game in 1997 Yes sir. What exactly was the move which led people to believe that this is more than human? Sir, it was an un uh, traditional move like uh, from that move it was thought that uh, some such some mistake was done which Gary Kasparov can uh, understand and can make uh, use of that. All right. Uh, I am also into chess. So can you tell me what exactly was that move and because you are also into chess? I do not exactly remember that, but it was like uh, it was an uh, unconditional move, which uh, in general should not be played at that time. So it was believed that uh, some something has happened, and that's why that move was played. All right. So that so that that is of course because of the algorithms which is used by conventional classical algorithm. But now in the last few years, at least last two years, something really different has happened. That is uh, Alpha Zero. Yeah. Are you aware of it? so it has it is being more advanced and uh, can easily defeat the human champions in oh. the field of chess yeah what is what is different about this particular algorithm uh, i am not aware of that it is not based on human experience other algorithms are fed of all the games but this has not been fed of anything it's just been fed rules and it has created its own moves so you should watch a stock fish versus alpha 0 most powerful chess game which is based on the classical algorithm it has been com comprehensively defeated by uh, alpha 0 if you're interested you should watch yes. that's that's really about artificial intelligence and shows that it can access reality which we are not aware of yes sir. maybe you should uh, the previous candidate was asking about uh, pi what is the importance of pi pi it is the um, for any circular uh, region it is the circumference divided by its diameter so it gives the same value which is uh, equivalent to pi that is 22 by 7 so it is a standard value for any uh, circle can we said that you don't have to need to, to have a circle and what about pi 3.14 what is it it is the uh, va approximated value of uh, pi that is 3.14 which we say no it continues it, it can continues till the end and uh, it, it is non recurring Ah, it, is it is infinite. It is infinite and non-recurring, but we approximated to three point one four. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. From Madhya Pradesh, okay. Yes, sir. Your father is from Barwani, and your mother is from Khargon. Khargon. Yes, sir. So you must have seen both places. Uh, yes, sir. Khargon, I uh, visited once only. and barwani i was born in barwani barwani yes sir. okay what do you describe about the nimar area of madhya pradesh so uh, it is named because of the uh, presence of neem trees to so, nimar region neem trees and what is called the uh, the paris of nimar uh, it um, um, it is the nimar region um, um Badwani is only called yes, Paris exactly, of Nimar. Yes, exactly. sir. Yes, there is yes, a board sir. there. There is called the Paris, Paris of Nimar. Paris of Nimar. Yes, Even sir. There is a very beautiful place. Okay. Uh, what do you describe the, the ecology? Of uh, Badwani district. Ha ha. Please tell. Define what is the, what is the ecology? Why we study ecology? What it contains? So the ecology. What is the subject? Ha ya. Yeah. So it refers to the. Uh, living organisms and the plants uh, the of the region uh, nearby and the interrelationship between the uh, living organisms and the environment of the area so uh, in badwani it is uh, mainly a 
it has a lot of forest region and what is a lot of forest uh, or like it has been all cut it has been cut but uh, it has mainly like it is on the bank of narmada river and surrounded by vindhya and satpura even, ranges even your khargon has also lost the beautiful uh, forest forest cover yes sir and it has been encroached is it a big problem of encroachment one, uh, encroachment was one of the reason for Very that big big problem yes yeah, right so i want to know what what do you understand by the ecosystem what is the ecosystem the uh, ecosystem of a region is uh, it consists of the living organisms plants and animals and the interrelationship between all of them what are the ecosystem services uh, there are various services like uh, provisioning services that they provide supporting services then cultural or recreational services provided by the ecosystem another fourth one very important mm. regulating regulating services yes sir mm. okay uh, please tell uh, three four uh, national parks important national parks of madhya pradesh uh, have you visited any sir i have not visited any national park but i have visited the zoo of indore zoo of indore mm. okay and national parks are uh, one we have national park in bhopal mm -hmm. uh, then panna national park mm -hmm. bandavgarh uh, is there mm. sanjay dubri Okay, what is the role of divisional forest officer? What do you visualize that? Suppose you join as a deer forest service officer. Yes, sir. What is the role of a DFO? Sir, it is firstly the administration of the protected areas of the region, and secondly, policing power is there with respect to uh, encroachment uh, in the region nearby, then well-being of uh, uh, tribals uh, in that region. Hmm. So these three. and okay. also the preparation of working plan for the forest area okay yeah. great okay uh, indore was in news recently what for so firstly it has been the cleanest city for uh, last 5 years hmm. so that is one reason and one more reason hmm. this thing it was published in paper also hmm. water plus Ah, uh, it has been awarded the water plus first water plus city uh, in okay, India. Okay, please tell three flagship programs of Madhya Pradesh and three flagship program of government of India. This is my last question. Okay. Uh, so the uh, in terms of agriculture, it has done very well and has been awarded the. Uh, I want the name. Okay. Proposed by uh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan, your CM. Uh, Sir, recently uh, adopt uh, Anganwadi program was recently uh, um, adopted by uh, the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. Then, uh, secondly, a uh, lot of investment in terms of investment, it has been uh, increasing. Like for example, in the Indore region, and increase in the super corridors, uh, increasing the connectivity. No, no, I want the name of the, the yeah. program, Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao oh, type. Yeah. Uh, MP has done lot and lot about the good programs, which has been copied by state government of India also. I wanted that. Yes. Okay, now tell uh, three important programs of uh, government of India, which is very successful. Uh, so firstly, the Swachh Bharat uh, Mission. Okay. Then, uh, secondly, the Ayushman uh, Bharat Yojana for uh, providing the healthcare, uh, secondary and tertiary healthcare facilities. Right. And. द प्रधानमंत्री कल्याण गरीब कल्याण योजना वाई इज इंदौर रिगार्डेड एज दी इकोनॉमिक एंड फाइनेंशियल कैपिटल ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश सर फर्स्टली द फाइनेंशियल कैपिटल बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश स्टॉक एक्सचेंज दर एंड इकोनॉमिक कैपिटल बिकॉज इट हैज द राइजिंग इंडस्ट्रीज राइजिंग कमर्शियल इंडस्ट्रीज इट हैज द पिथमपुर बेल्ट present nearby then uh, also it is an educational hub and also better healthcare infrastructure so all these things have been uh, contributed to the economy of madhya pradesh what are the kind of industries which are located in pithampur sir so in uh, pithampur mainly the pharmaceutical industries are present and also the natrax facility uh, which is the automotive testing center that has been there uh, in pithampur 
Can you name some innovation for some new developments in sustainable fertilizers? Um, name coated urea. Name coated urea uh, is one uh, which has which Similarly. has helped in uh, efficient utilization of urea. And then. Um, okay, no problem. So you are an electrical engineer also. Yes. Can you tell me why wind energy has uh, slightly failed to take off in India, despite India having a good potential? So, uh, firstly, the uh, it's uh, not available for whole of the day, and uh, so that is one uh, backdrop of uh, wind energy. And why is it not available for whole of the day? So, because wind uh, mm. cannot flow. Uh, it stops at night. Like, the regular uh, speed is not maintained throughout the day. Throughout the day. Okay. So that, that is only reason. And lack of investments too. And lack of initial cost being uh, high for that. Okay. What is the fuel cell? So, uh, it is a uh, in which we uh, using the chemical energy. It is we uh, converted to the electrical energy using a fuel cell. And what are the applications of fuel cell? Uh, it has been used in uh, electrical vehicles too to promote the uh, to ensure electricity and for mainly for electricity uh, generation purpose. Okay, uh, which is better suited for India given the present circumstances, hybrid vehicle or electrical vehicles? So, uh, electrical vehicles are good. Uh, but we need to uh, ensure good battery uh, package for that. For example, the solid state batteries, which will be more efficient and less uh, energy um, like that. And uh, so electric vehicles for uh, currently. Okay. Yes. Uh, how should we move with the tariff increases in the electricity, electricity sector? Because if we do not increase the tariffs, then the state electricity boards are becoming unviable and they are running into huge losses. Yes. So how would you proceed with that? So firstly, uh, to make our electrical uh, sector more efficient, transmission losses need to be reduced so that the productivity uh, increases and the efficiency increases in that terms. So that is one thing. and. Uh, it can be uh, made as a, which is recently proposed that it can be ensured as a commodity, electricity as a commodity, so that uh, efficient utilization of electricity is being done. And tariff increases, nothing on that? Uh, Price per unit, shouldn't it be increased? So if uh, it is uh, made as a commodity, then uh, the tariff can be reduced so that efficiently it can be utilized. Okay, no issue. What is extended producer's responsibility? So, uh, it is the responsibility of the person who has initially made that uh, product to dispose it off at the end. So, that is the extended. Where is it applicable in which industries or which sectors? In plastic management, it was uh, it has been applicable and the producers of the plastic need to ensure that they, are, they dispose it off safely. One more category. The e-waste e -waste management ah, though. Yes, e-waste also. Right. Uh, okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you.